Hey guys, Mike here at Amish Tutorials and welcome back to a new modeling video. Well guys, I've been out a couple of weeks uh, doing some training, so uh, that should hopefully result in some uh, cool new videos in the near future. Uh, but before we get to that, today we're going to do a subscriber request. should be a fairly simple one. Uh, the question that I received was, uh, can you model a tin can? Okay, like a soup can or something like that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start with a uh, polygon cylinder in our modeling menu and we're going to hit R to scale that up until we roughly have the size that we're looking for for tin can. Now we need to make sure that it's nice and round so in our attribute editor we're going to go in and we're going to increase subdivision level to 40 which makes it nice and clean and then what we're going to do is in height we're going to do quite a few subdivisions let's do 40 as well for the simple reason that we need to add some detail there. Okay. Now I'm going to do zero on the caps because we're going to delete those. So I'm going to select it, right click at a face, select the face and delete that, and select that face and delete that. Okay. Now with this selected so far, we're going to go up and double click that entire vertical face row like that. And we're going to go to edit mesh and extrude and select 0 0.1 all right that looks right i guess yep next what we're going to do is we're going to that's ah, kind of lagging a bit let's see what's going on there yeah something going off my mouse it should be fixed now okay so next what we're going to do is we're going to select that top row by clicking and shift double clicking and let's deselect this section here so that and that and we're going to do the same at the top all right and I go to edit mesh and extrude again 0.1 all right cool so now that we've got that we're going to need to add some detail to our can so what we'll do is we'll switch views and up here we got that thicker section so what we're going to do is we're going to right click and go to edge click and shift double click on that one skip one do that and do that so we've got one two three we're going to go down here We got that right there as well. And then we're going to take the one in the middle. We're going to skip one, skip one, and skip one. And do the same at this end. Let's see, we've got one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, we're good. And now with the tricky part, we need to deselect this stuff. Let's work our way down. And just hold down shift and click on it. That should do the trick. Come on. And then we're going to rotate it and we're going to select or deselect actually the ones at this end. All right, we're going to hit four for wireframe mode so we can kind of make sure that we have 
a clean selection. I think I got all of it, which is good. Hit five to go back. And what we're going to do is we're simply going to hit R and we're going to kind of pull those out. Let's not go crazy there. Not too much. That looks fine. Yeah, cool. And then what we're going to do is we're going to right click, go to object mode. And we're going to switch views. Right click, go to edge, drag select all edges. And go to, uh, let's see, where is that? Right here, mesh display and harden edge. Okay much much better alrighty let's do a preview smooth just to decide whether we want that or not so right click object mode hit three to preview smooth yeah much better okay so I want to go back first we're going to extrude a little bit because we want to have the inside looking okay so edit mesh extrude let's do 0 0.1 Oops. That's not good. 0 0.01. Let's see. Little issue there. Okay. And we don't want to mess it up. And the only section that we really need would be up here. So we'll do that instead. Okay. I should have done that first. So I'm going to take that edge there. Right click, go to edge double click on that entire edge and go to edit mesh and extrude hit w and pull that down which should be fine and that will fit our lid and we can do the same down here if you like and it's always good practice to not model things that you're not going to see okay so edit mesh Extrude, hit W, pull it up a little, yeah. So it looks like we're good on the can itself. We're going to right click, go to object mode, select it, and go to mesh and smooth. That's our can. Now let's create the lid. For that, we'll take a new polygon cylinder, hit W to pull that up. Let's do 40 subdivisions we'll do five on caps and then we'll hit r to scale it out we'll right click go to face select everything below this area so we just have that left right click object mode hit w to pull it down and then switch to your top view Hit R to scale it out until it's closed. And then check to make sure it's not sticking out of the side there by hitting W and pushing it down. That seems to be okay. All right. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, go to edge, select that edge by double clicking, shift, double click on that one, shift, double click on that one and go to edit mesh and bevel let's do oops let's not do that uh let's see let's see give me one sec guys let's rethink that a second oh okay i know what the problem is all right we're going to right click we're going to go to object mode and we're going to go to edit mesh and extrude first to give it a little bit of thickness 0 0.1 that's better okay then we're gonna right click the edge take these edges not that one and go to edit mesh and bevel hit w come on let's play ball yeah just pull that up And then take that, pull that up a little bit, right click, go to object mode, adjust the lid, and hit three to preview smooth. Nice. All right, 
cool. So it's a preview smooth, so we're going to go to mesh and actual smooth. Let's do two on subdivision. Why not? I think I hit 25 accidentally. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Now we don't need a bottom because we're not going to see it, but if you are, you can change that obviously. That said, we're going to drag select the whole thing and we're going to go to file and where do you go? Export selection. Okay. Let's call this can final because I did a test on this. We'll do an FBX export. There we go. And now I'm going to jump over to Keyshot to texture it. If you don't have Keyshot, what you can do is right click, go to assign new material, select MIA and your mental ray material. You just have to activate that Windows settings, preferences, plugin manager. It's not always visible. I'm going to scroll down to where do you go? Where do you go? Maya to mental ray. There we go. Let's give that a second. All right, done. Now we can select our MIA material X. And with that selected, you can now go to presets and this time right here, presets. It's kind of lagging a bit since I didn't load that up in my plugin manager. So hopefully that will correct itself. There we go. Come on, presets, Chrome, and replace. Okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go with Keyshot. So uh, let's see. I think I exported this as cans final. Yeah. So let's jump over to Keyshot and see there. All right, guys, there we are. We're going to go to File, Import. And I call this guy cans final. There we go and import now the lighting that we choose on this will have a huge effect on the end result so what i'm going to do is i'm going to first start by selecting a backdrop which will be white solid kind of my go-to for this kind of thing in our environment i'm going to need i'm going to need to choose lighting and i'm probably going to use some interior lighting so i'm going to go with this one for now and now we're going to select our material. So I'm going to go to my material tab. I'm going to go to metal. Now I have the option to choose aluminum. And I think that is probably the closest to what, you know, would be used in the real world. And let's have a look here. Looks like I got one little issue on the top there. So I'm just going to quickly fix that. And I'll explain to you in a second what that was. Actually, it turned out not to be an issue, so that's good. So we got that. Let's rotate that a little bit. So we kind of got that thing going on there. All right. And we can kind of play with our backdrop to see if something else will have a better effect. This will probably change the color dramatically. But still kind of cool, though. Let's see what else we got. We can go with an outdoor setting, which will probably not be a lot better. So I guess I'm going to go with this one. I kind of like that. All right. So with that said, what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our render window, to our render setting. Actually, let's tweak that a little bit. Let's go to lighting. I'm going to go with a full simulation. And then I'm going to go back in and I'm going to turn off interior mode because that adds something to the render that I really don't like. Then I'm going to give this a name. Let's call it can final. Let's save that out on the desktop here. There we go. Size preset, let's do 1280720. And that said, let's hit render. I'll pause the video and I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, guys, well, there you have it. There's the final render for our can. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you can tweak that by adding some 
dents and scratches and so forth, but uh, this is the basic way to model it. So if you have any questions, as always, please let me know in the comments. Um, if you like the video, please share and like and subscribe. That would be really neat. And for those of you who are patrons to my site, you will find um, this file in the shared drive. If you're not a patron and you want to become one, you will find details below. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching this video and I'd love to see you guys again.